Good day, beautiful peoples. How is everyone? Me, I'm running behind. I spent the last day and a half mixing up pigments, which I have just realized I forgot to stir before turning you guys on. And I have been mixing up a bucket load of pigments so I could do some painting again because I must apologize I people to my subscribers I deeply apologize I have dropped the ball I've realized in since I have started to be able to be more active on my channel I've been sewing not realizing that the bulk of my subscribers were with me for the painting and the resining resin work and so i've been totally letting you guys down in which you know i've been posting sewing videos haven't i so i will deeply apologize for that and that is going to change only in the respect that I'll be doing both, which I still, I had planned on doing anyway. I just, I was so focused on the sewing. I, yeah, just didn't realize how long um, it had been, you know, video of so, 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 so. And um, I hadn't been equaling it out by putting the stuff up that you guys want to see. Um, thank you for my new subscribers who are with me for the sewing. Uh, so it's going to be a combination of all three guys. So it will be my painting as usual, like I did in the beginning and, uh, resin, resin pieces. So I resin my work plus I do resin molds, um, and it will be the sewing. So what I'm going to try and do is, you know, upload them on equal basis, like equal duration basis. So if I upload a painting, hopefully then I can do a sewing one, you know, the next day, and then a painting one. So sort of I'm aiming for whether I can achieve it is another matter, but... I'm aiming for every second day. So it'll be alternatives. Alternatively, they will be. Um, I hope you guys um, are happy with that. So if not, um, I apologize. But yeah, probably I'd be getting them uploaded this way quicker because I am more um, focused on wanting to get the content out so I'm trying to yeah be more consistent in that it's just they do take time you know guys like the prep time is unbelievable especially with the painting well the sewing side of it too you know prep for any of them is very time consuming so it is um but I know a lot of you guys appreciate that and realize that and everything else. So I do sincerely thank you all for supporting me by watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting, etc. And um, I hope to do better by you by um, getting equal amounts of the content out now. So I have been mixing and mixing and mixing gorgeous pigments. Oh my god, I found my um, colour up pigments. I My shed looks like a tornado's hit it, to be blatantly honest. <laughs> I have absolutely gone through everything. I tore all the boxes that I had crafts written on apart, um, because it turns out I'm not going down south now. So I've been going through those boxes 
and after opening each one and going through them multiple times because I was sure I was missing something because I hadn't found them um, I opened all the canvas boxes thinking I might have put them in there as fillers nope not in there so then I'm like right only other alternative is open every other goddamn box that I packed so I did and lo and behold I found them in a box labeled books so from what I can see because they were on the very top they're in a shoe box um, and they were on the very top so I've put them in there as a filler because the books didn't fill the whole box and so I didn't have empty space I put them in there but Dodo Head Me did not write on the tape. Books plus pigment, did I? No. I'm like, yes, I'll remember. No, I didn't remember. And, yeah, when I was writing on there, it's like, yeah, I'll remember what's in here, you know. But then so much time has passed, and I haven't remembered what's in what. And if I had to write books and pigment, I would have found them straight up. But anywho, that's another story. So let's get down to it, guys. Right. Oops. Won't get down to much if I go smashing my rock now, will I? I thought I'd do some um, rocks because I got these colours. Oh, gorgeous, by the way. This is persimmon. Like, look at that colour. I don't know how well that camera's picking it up. Oh, won't be picking it up very well if I go pouring it all out the side. Um, and there's sunburst. Um, so I'm going to be using, these are all colour art, these ones. And I'm going to use boysenberry, majestic blue, sunburst, persimmon, Persimmon, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and probably, depending on how the actual bloom goes, if I need to put more on other bits, then I'm going to put Guatemalan Green and Love Struck and probably some Gold Sparkle. So, we'll see. We'll see how they go. Eh? And just take it from there, I think. So this is my pillow base paint, and it is just an ordinary house paint, the same as what I was using before. It's a low sheen. Um, pretty sure it's Taubman's brand. Low sheen house paint. But I don't want it to totally run off my rock. Alright. So first down, boysenberry. And this colour is gorgeous. So my CA is, um, it's the Torbman's, yep, yeah, Torbman's Easy Coat, if you're in Australia, um, low sheen, neutral, and it's neutral, so it is untinted so it does not have any color set in it so that way when you get it and bring it home you can put your own color hence pigments or paint into it to tint it the color that you want it to be so I use that with a bit of Joso's gloss varnish and some um, Cabot's Cabotane Clear. So I do two um, of my neutral to one Joe Sonia's to one Cabot's. And when I mix all that up, I then mix that three to one with whatever I'm doing. Wow. And please let me add it's been nearly two years since I've done this. So that is wow. I am very, 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 very happy with that blow, I must admit. Apart from that board I done, 
I think a couple of weeks ago now. Um, this is the first thing I've sort of painted in nearly two years because of my health and everything. Um, I just haven't been able to. So I've been in for surgeries and yada, yada, yada. Spent a month in hospital here just, well, I was in the day before Christmas, believe it or not. They put me in and I was in there for nearly a month. So, but yeah, wow, that is gorgeous. But I didn't get any there. So, what will I do? Because I would like to do all three points, see? Same. But, hmm, okay. Well, maybe, I love this love struck. It is just divine. So, maybe I can do an itty bitty mount here. Do a little bit here. Like so. Maybe a bit on the tip. Don't you dare muck up that. How's it looking around that side? Can I get away with leaving it like that? Maybe I can just... Maybe not. Wow, that is stunning, guys. Really, seriously. Even if I am saying so myself, and I am. Let me hope this cup holds. Let me just check. Mm. Don't you dare fall off on me. I will not be a happy camper. Can't really... I don't know if you guys are getting those pigments, but oh my god. Okay, I'm going to sit her over there before I drop it. Okay, on to the next one. Let's hope it turns out as good, eh? I'm going to use the same colours, but... Oh... I left my jumper on because it is absolutely freezing here and it keeps pulling back. Okay, my pillow paint. Oh yeah, as I was saying, so my PM, I mix three to one roughly, depending on what it is though, you know. So, <clears throat> excuse me, like with pigments, you know, you can't just mix them straight into your PM because they're a powder form. So... I use a bit of um, Liquitex pouring medium to wet the pigment down. And then um, I'll mix that. And to give it, uh, I'll put a bit of my untinted house paint in and mix it with the then wet pigment to give it some volume, you know, because when you put paint in, it's not just a little bit of liquid in the bottom of the container. So you're essentially turning the pigment into a paint. And then um, I mix that with my pouring medium. And that's how that goes. And then my CA is just um, flow chart and paint. 
three to one. Oh, well, depending, depending on what I'm using for a CA. Um, oh, oh, oh. No, 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 run back this way, please. Don't want you just to run off the side. But you're gonna anyway, look at that. Okay, um, trying to keep it in the middle, and I'm not doing a very good job of that, am I? Don't want it to all run off before I get it on. But anyway. These are turning out awesome, guys. My God. It's like I never left. Here I am. My anxiety is going through the roof. To the point it's taken me about three hours to work up the nerve to actually come and do this. And look at that. My God. Um, mm, it's not really sitting on my rock. Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know if you're going to pick up all that scrummy, delicious bling in there, but we can try. Unreal. Those are just they're so yummy you could eat them. Okay. I'm hoping, I was hoping I might get something usable and paint skins out of this, but not by the look of all that. Anyway, let me one down. Let's try a bit of a different shape since they want to go that way. I'll try one like this. Now this, I don't care if it runs off. Because it's just your house paint, you know. And the art of this technique, everyone, is the blow. If you can master the blow, you're, you're right. Takes a little bit of doing. Alright, come on quick. Get the next one down. Love this sunburst. Okay, get love struck. I love love struck too. Love struck down. Okay, bit of... Boysenberry, quickly, 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 quickly. Bit of gold sparkle. Now my CA, where did I put it? Okay. End and end. All right. Oi, doi, doi. Don't be doing that, you silly woman. Go reckon it. Watch what you're doing. Dog done it. All right. Okay. Go a bit of majestic blue. I think. Just here, and then a bit of persimmon, persimmon, I think is how it's pronounced, and then a bit of CA, quickly, quickly, before it all runs off the end. <laughs> These rocks, they turn out lovely, but gee, they're a pain. They turn out stunning, though, they really do. 
And then when you resin them, oh my god, they're just lovely. They really are. I have um, been in contact with a boutique market here in Brisbane. And the next one's coming up next Thursday. I don't know if I'll be ready in time. I highly doubt it. Next Thursday, have enough pieces made and resined. Ready to go. Yeah, right. What planet am I living on? But you can try, huh? One can try. Missed that one altogether, didn't I? Problem is, my light's behind me. So, I have a lamp here. And I've got to get underneath the lamp to get to this, to blow. So, yeah. But anyway, it's still lovely. Absolutely lovely. Wow, these are turning out awesome. And I think I haven't done anything, really, in two years. Bling on them, would you? Gorgeous. That, um, that love struck in that boysenberry. Yep. I mixed up some, um, this little piggy pigments too. But I've been dying to do these ones again, these specific colours again. Um, I'm not using them once tonight. I'm only using these ones. So, um, I do have a bit of fluoro orange there though. This one, oh no, because that'll mean mucking around with them. No, I'll stick with what I've got. Okay. Do number four, hey? And I must say, I've got this recipe down pat for my pigments. I was a bit worried yesterday. I was mixing the last one that they were going to be a bit thick by today. As I wanted to let them sit overnight, get the air bubbles out. That um, sunburst yellow I could do with a bit. It's a bit thick. Okay, give me my CA before it all runs off. Where's the gold? I want that gold. Gold on a dark colour. Gold sparkle. Oh my god. Not that these pigments need it. They have enough bling of their own. But hey, you can never have too much, can you? Alright, you lot, you need to vote now. I want you to let me know down in the comments which one is your favourite. None of this watching the videos and staying silent. I want to know which are your favourites. And if you have a favourite one, I'm going to stick them up on my Insta too, and probably on TikTok. Hmm. I think. Uh, well, if I put a bit more on that, I'll know I'll bugger it up. Where's my stick? 
Got a big old bubble right there. Look at that. Now look what it did. It left a big darn hole. Here you go pulling all my colour off, mister. Drip. Mm, I've got to be careful. I said if I left my jumper on, I would not get it dirty. So I've got to make sure I... Hey, doy, doy, watch what you're doing, woman. I just got to... Can't let the drips go, though, people. If you do, I'm telling you, it will pull all your colour off. So it will. Yeah, I'm making a mess on my mat. Okay. Yeah. Should have known better than to use these cups as holders. That one's... Uh, maybe I can. I'll take these over to them anyway. At the end of the video that way I can control because I'm using the camera not them and I don't have a chance of dropping them so get down under here and then again you're not really going to be looking underneath are you and plus I put cork and and or felt on the bottom, velvet. So you just can't go up the sides from that's all. And that's sort of where they where they curve around. That really needs um, attending to. Right, let me do one last one. Let me get a better cup. I'm sick of them plastic ones. Got in and dug all my stuff out over the last two days. Better, much better. Look at that, it's not even going to give way. This darn apron is annoying the heck out of me. But anyway, should have took my jumper off. <laughs> Do this one, and that way, oh, I was going to say there's four different shapes, but there's not because I did those two. Oh, and look at that, I did them same, relatively the same colour too. Silly woman. What am I doing picking that up? That's my CA. Okay, go Guatemalan green again. It says it's green, but it's like a real light blue, isn't it? And it has a shimmer in it. What's that? Where did that come from? Bit of that on. That's a bit thick too, by the look of that. A little bit of love strut. No, we've done love strut. Persimmon. Persimmon. Persim. I'll show you the letter, the name. There, persimmon. Isn't it? Why am I saying getting confused on the blooming name of it all the time? Is that blurry? There we go. Persimmon. Keep muddling the name. One minute I say it right, next minute I don't. And this is boysenberry. This is just a divine colour, that is. Okay, a bit of gold quickly. Just on the top. Now the CA. On the top to create the magic. <laughs> Have a bit of the pouring medium around there and it will pull the colour down to cover that. Okay. 
you watch. Because otherwise, there's nothing to break the surface tension of the dry rock and or canvas. Happens the same on a canvas. So if you put a bit of wet, and well, this is cheaper than anything else, there to break the surface tension, your paint won't roll under itself. And because this surface tension has been broken by a wet substance there, it will then pull. That's why you always want to get your drips to stop it pulling off your, well, your picture, essentially, your design, or your colour, or your pigment. Um, so if you do a canvas, you always want to get your drips. Make sure you run your hand or your paddle pop stick or whatever along underneath to get all your drips. But in this case, it's working for me because where it didn't reach on my blow because I didn't have enough of the pouring medium there. The pillow paint, sorry, not pouring medium. Why am I saying pouring medium? Pillow paint. Um, but adding more... To break that surface tension it is dragging the color down for me so it's doing the work for me without me having to add more color and essentially wreck my design I have so missed doing this I really have but you're not well there's not a lot you can do about it is there fortunately your mental health suffers though, especially when it's something you really enjoy doing. But anyway, you get there in the end. Don't like that. I can't really do anything about it. Wonder? No, I think if I try and dab something on that, it'll look dicky. Alright, leave it alone. Leave it alone, woman. Whenever you muck with something, you'll muck it up and then you won't like it. Okay, well. I'll just move him over here and I'll take these gloves off to my second lot so I can grab the camera I can deal with all my paint pots in a second off camera in my clean up and I can show you guys a close up alright hang on a second ok let me see if I can pick up it's a matter of getting it in the right light I see some of the bling in there what about this one hang on angle that light a bit there we go it's not so direct and there's this little beauty I would have liked to have done more hearts but I've got to make more this is the only one I had I've got another one there but I'm drawing a flamingo on that one And I'd already started drawing it, so. I'm really not doing these any justice here, by the way, guys. So I'm not. I'm not able to pick them up. The colour. It's really hard. So that's the five of them. Yeah. You have to let me know which one you like the most. And let's see. The other one I had, I've started drawing the flamingo on it. So I'll probably take a photo and stick that up on my Instagram or something when I finish it. It won't be tonight. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys so much. You don't realize how much I do appreciate you guys. Um, I'm only a small channel, I'm trying to get there, 
trying to do better with my videos, but it does take money, which is something, you know, you've got to work towards. So mm. I thank you very much, and catch you on the next one. So bye for now. Bye.